So for those wondering as well, I have I've eaten incredibly comfy. I've eaten Dango Defender. Incredibly comfy. I've eaten Dango Defender. I've got Dango Medic and I've got a brand new Dango skill, which I won't spoil, which also helps with damage mitigation. So that's why some of Gormagala's hits do big damage to me. And, you know, when it falls correctly, I get a little bit of damage resistance. Um, but there's even more Dango options for you as well, um, as well as the hopping skills, which you might have seen on our social media, which empowers some Dango at the cost of others. So choose carefully. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the... Uh... The hopping skewers it's a pretty cool new feature um i've I been using it. it every now and then but it, you know it really depends on whichever hunt that you're i've been for. using it on every hunt i'm like yes nice. please i love it like i normally have like dango medic as my third one because you still get a little boost but you know you, so you will get a benefit and then i kind of focus the the boosts on like like hunt specific food um oh how do we want to make up uh gormagala here should i can i finally use my egg is this the way? I think it's time. So yeah, you can either play three songs or do the Magnificent Trio to instantly pop the egg. And we should get some big damage here. And then I'm going to step back and I'm going to play... Uh... And as you can see, oh, pop! Anyway. 14! There you go. 77! I'm glad I've been wow. stacking some damage on my set. <laughs> Get that attack That's up. Wakey, wakey. Oof. Oh, wow. Oh, that. Is, yeah, that is I got humbled there. <laughs> Gormagala is down, but definitely not out. Gonna get a slide beat in here. Oh, the evade. Wow. Um, remember, I'm gonna hit that counter. <laughs> kind of <laughs> bummed about that. Oh. I need to go on the aggression here, otherwise, Frenzy's gonna catch me. I might need another oh, yeah. three. Mine's is almost filled, too. Yeah, I've got like a millimeter. Oh. Wow. Those attacks. Yeah, watch out. Whoa. Dango Defender there, coming in clutch. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Whoa. I finally hit you it. You got the counter, I heard it. Yeah. I didn't, I got Very absolutely... Satisfying. I got slapped in the chin. Well played. Got him. What a hunt. Well, like... Yeah. Wow. Gormagala does not mess around. Like, it's so good to have Gormagala back. And this is just, like, one hunt on one new monster in master rank like and yeah, we I... we spirit birded up we ate comfy like there's so much so much to do and obviously i'm gonna yeah give you a look yeah it's incredible honestly i mean this is definitely you know it's a big new monster but it's just one of many really awesome new monsters in sunbreak um and it's just so cool to have you know this expansion that's just so full of these these new monsters it's, it's really exciting exactly and you know monster Hunter rise sunbreak is out now like you can jump right in and and enjoy the game and if you're new if you are new to monster Hunter rise and you've picked up the game in preparation for sunbreak go and talk to senri the mailman um he's the little palico you'll find in kimura village near elder fugan get the black belt gear um for the armor and get the defender weapons and you'll be able to go through low and high rank at uh, quite a pace you're aiming to do the seven star quest thunder uh, Goddess of Thunder um, and then you can jump into Sunbreak as well and enjoy all these new features and hunts but yeah there's so much so much in Sunbreak and you know I hope you join us How, uh, what about you Joe? yeah I mean you covered it um, you know this this is an amazing expansion I'm super excited for people to get their hands on it so many new monsters and yeah like you mentioned if you are new to if you are new to Rise uh, definitely a lot of options to kind of get through the main game um it's it's a really good time so um yeah just incredibly excited to see what everybody thinks about sunbreak and, and play with some of you so yeah please enjoy it yeah and i think with that the, a successful hunt and by the way you look awesome on my end screen i can see you doing a zero sum discharge um oh, nice. it's time to wrap up the stream so that you the community can
Go enjoy Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. So jump in, let us know your thoughts over on Twitter and on the Steam forums, and we hope you have an absolutely amazing time with Sunbreak. So I've been Jono. And I'm Joe. And you've been awesome. Enjoy Sunbreak launch, and uh, we'll see you around. Happy hunting. All right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Hello everyone and welcome to the Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak PC launch stream. It is awesome to see you. Sunbreak is live and out now. The wait is over. My name's Jono, EMEA Community Manager for Monster Hunter and I am joined by... Hey everyone, I'm Joe. I'm the Capcom USA Community Manager for Monster Hunter. And today, to celebrate the launch of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, what are we hunting, Joe? We are going after Gormagala. Oh, um, yes. If you watched our recent... Um, our recent Capcom showcase. This was the one of the big new reveals uh, in the trailer. So just super excited to, to get into this time. Awesome, absolutely. Cool. And um, as you can see, we're decked up. We've got a lot of Lunar Garon gear going on. You're wearing the full Lunar Garon set. You've got the Lunar Garon switch axe, and I'm using the Lunar Garon hunting horn. Now I am running a mixed set for Master Rank. So I am currently using high rank layered armor. Um, and you know, I, I still think I've got the fashion game on there. I've still got the fashion game, but you are looking a lot cooler. No, you're looking pretty cool too, but I mean, look at my uh, my Palamute over oh. here. He's he's Ooh. looking very clean. So. Now, what monster did you get that outfit from? Uh, that is the Espinos uh, Palamute armor. You can see. I don't know if you can see it on your stream, Jono, but uh, my amazing sunglasses over here. They are they are too cool. Too cool for me, anyway. <laughs> <laughs> but right, shall we get stuck? And we are in the Citadel um the, one of the brand new locales in sunbreak and it is awesome there's so much to this locale and as you can see we've got a few monsters uh in the area including gormagala and look at this scenery here like yeah. the woodland the snow and obviously the citadel itself like yeah this is awesome yeah. and i'm gonna play my hunting horn like how cool does that sound like got there the kind of heavy metal there. Now you're going to be a bit faster than me because um, <laughs> you've got your Palamute. Yeah, I am. I'm definitely a Palamute person. Um, but yeah, you know, going back to the Citadel, I think this is definitely one of my favorite um, locales. Not just in Monster Hunter Rise, but I think in the series. I mean, it's just wow. got so much variety. It's really cool. It really does, really and ob does. obviously, also has the um, the Thorny Toad as well, which is super oh, yeah. super cool. Um, yes, we uh, we definitely stand Thorny Toad, um, one of the best endemic life. Hopefully, we'll end up in the swamp. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the marionette spider, which uh, I'm definitely gonna try and grab one. Ooh, let's go here. find it. And um, you can use the uh, the new uh, sniff them out feature to kind of help you find endemic life which is i think it's really helpful for me i mean you know playing base rise i kind of memorized where a lot of uh the endemic life is but you know being new to sunbreak it's super helpful to just kind of find those things and have them marked on the map yeah i mean i'm glad you mentioned that there's a lot of new features for hunting buddies there's also some great quality of life stuff like some people might have seen us being able to wall run without using a wire bug to do so um which i absolutely love like it makes combat flow so smoothly um yeah it's, it's brilliant yeah it's super super helpful um it just makes movement even more smooth i mean it was already super smooth in yes. regular uh, monster hunter rise but yeah even now it's just a, a little yeah. a little bit faster right i don't know about you but i've got a nice bit of spirit bird and endemic life should we go find the mighty frenzy inducing gormagala do it and i got my marionette spider so uh perfect the bonkin shall that. begin um, and obviously yes. those watching as well, you can see on my Lunar Garen Hunting Horn, I've got self-improvement, I've got elemental attack boost, stamina recovery up, and one of my personal favorites, sharpness regeneration. Oh yes, right. that is right. We've got the ability to regen the sharpness of not only your own weapon sharpness, but that of your teammates. Like, oh, I love it. Ooh, I love this so much. That'd be helpful. Ooh. Right, I'm just going to put some buffs on us before we go in. Because I see you're using an ice weapon. Oh no, Gormagala's come oh, to us. Uh oh. <laughs> we did not get a choice there. Yep. Back a little bit here. Yep. Coming in. I'm just going to get another song up. And I've got Magnificent Trio. Okay, you got Sharpness Regen. Oh wow. Yep. I'm going to make use of my uh, 
switch skill swap and swap evade here to get out some of my new hunting horn moves, which I absolutely love. Yeah, the switch, the switch skill swap, um, especially with the ability to kind of dodge out of it, is just super, super helpful in a, in a pinch. Oh, I've got the frenzy virus. Yes, the frenzy virus oh. is back in all its glory. Yeah, it's, uh, it's definitely tricky to kind of work around that. And you got that meter filled already, huh? Yeah, it's uh, it's about a quarter of the way, so I need to do some damage to get rid of this or I'm going to be in trouble. Yeah. Oh, I tried to do a switch skill swap there and uh, got caught there. Yeah, I think definitely a little bit of practice to get that timing down. Oh, yes. Oof, that damage. And it's really thrown up my uh, my frenzy bar. I'm gonna have to yeah. get this cured real soon. See if I can get this counter. Oh, I need uh, a Nolbri. Oh. So Nolbri there will reduce the frenzy bar just a little bit, yeah. just to buy some precious time. Yeah, it's tricky. It's definitely like kind of a battle just against that meter, knowing that that's filling up, trying not to get it filled all the way. Yeah, focusing on the evasion here. Yeah. See if I can get to the head, get some bonks on there, get some stun and exhaust built up. Oof. Oh. A healing bubble. Right very there. nice. Yep, yep. Gormagala is relentless. Yeah, especially with those that fireball attack is uh I don't know, you gotta get used to the angle a little bit. Absolutely. Oh. Do a switch skill swap here. It's on the run. I'm gonna uh, have a tasty ration, I think. But yeah, you know, hunt's going well. I've had to down a few few potions so far and an Elbri or two. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad so far. No cards, that's the important thing. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully uh, we can get it out to uh, a little bit more of an open area. It's a yeah. little, little tight over there. Yeah, definitely plays in Gormagala's favor with all those AOE attacks. Yeah, for sure. Um, pretty tough to kind of avoid some of those attacks there. And yeah, I think my, my frenzy virus is almost filled here. Uh-oh. You don't want those negative effects at all. Let's go. Yep. Here comes the roar. Yeah. See if I can work on a stun. No. Oh, I'm pretty. Door. Yeah. It, is Gore going to enrage soon? Oh, there we go. Now I can do what I've been okay. waiting for. My Silk Bind Shockwave combo. And then into this, into Magnificent Trio. And we get all those extra little bubbles on there. Infernal Beautiful. Melody. Into the Switch Skill Swap. Into Earthshaker. Oh! Nearly got it. Nearly got almost, it. Almost. I got punished for being greedy. <laughs> That's what it's all about, though, right? You gotta, gotta play risky. Oh, yes. Oh, Gore Magala has gone full Gore now. Oh, boy. Yeah, I love Silkbind Shockwave. Definitely my favorite new Hunting Horn move. Just the amount of hits you get off on there. The build stun damage, part damage. Oh, I love it. Makes me want to learn Hunting Horn a little bit more. I, you know what, what I love about uh, Sunbreak, and it's also a problem for me, is I want to try so many different weapons. So I've got Sword and Shield, Hunting Horn, Switch Axe, Hammer, and now I'm like, Insect Glaive looks pretty fun as well. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's kind of the beauty of Monster Hunter, right? It's every weapon, it's like a whole new game into itself. Absolutely. They're trying to get off another new move here with my Egg, and then I need to get Magnificent Trio out. And if I can get this off, we're going to get a big Egg Boom. Oh, we bopped it, but Gormagala evaded. How are you finding the new moves, by the way? I absolutely love the flexibility you get with the new moves with the uh, switch skill swap stuff. Yeah, I, I love it. I mean, my favorite um, new ability right now is the, the counter with the switch axe. Oh, uh, yes. Just being able to time it right and get that amp state is so satisfying, but it is a little bit uh, challenging to time it correctly. And it's a two wire bug move as well, right? So high risk, high reward. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And I, I've definitely gotten myself into some situations where I just burn those two wire bugs and completely whip. Um, not ideal. 
Oh, Magala is so intimidating right now. Oh, we got a head break. Oh, on the, t on the feelers as well. Oh. Fantastic. Oh, I just got absolutely slammed into the wall there. I got you. The iconic music is back as well. Like, oh, I know. It's such a, such a foreboding, ominous uh, track. I really love it. Absolutely. Oh! Oh, a blast toad! I yeah, was like, wait a second! Gore Vagala's got new tricks. <laughs> Knock that in there, just right underneath. Yeah. Right, I'm going to get an infernal melody off. Get some hyper armor. Nice. Yeah, and on my end, um, it's it's really satisfying to do the switch skill swap. Try to get my uh, my meter charged back up a little bit with using some of the other switch skills, and then switch back to kind of my main. Oh, absolutely. Main I'm trying again on my uh, my egg. So I need to play three songs or do a magnificent trio to set, explode the egg and do lots of damage. Gore Magala, you really don't want to be hit by this attack. Gore's, Gore's on it. Like, I'm not getting this egg attack off, I'm yeah. afraid. It, it hurt you. It do, It did. It's like, I've had enough of this gig. <laughs> I move into the yeah. next area. <laughs> but like, you have to be so on your toes with Gore Magala. Like, especially when it's yeah, fully, fully frenzied because... Those attacks and the frenzy virus and the more attacks that hit you, push you up. And as your null breeze start to run low, it's like, oh. Yeah, it sneaks up on you for sure. If it's not something that you're watching really closely, um, you might just have the frenzy virus and not even know it. Yeah, <laughs> whoops. Right, whoops. I'm going to go for the egg again. Here we go. Hey, Gormagala, I got a present for you. Oh, you're tired, are you? Oh. Oh, wow, I just got a... Uh... Got here. <laughs> my best oh, the classic! Oh no, it's coming for me! Oh, I, I popped it. I popped it. We're good. We're good. Oh, and we got the stun there. Perfect. Gonna quickly get a Silkbind Shockwave. The egg's too far away, but you know, such a great damage opportunity has come up here. Look at yeah, that! I love how, gonna, like. I love how like second nature like the switch skill swap stuff becomes and having all these moves and like switch skills at your disposal because not only do you get totally. the silk bind attacks but your switch skill combos for your like you know your normal attacks as well oh, it's beautiful yeah it's, it's awesome just to have so much more in your tool set um, I mean, the monsters are no slouch, right? They're no. stronger, faster than they are in regular Monster Hunter Rise. So there's a um, reason we have all these tools, right? I just got yeah, a Rathalos Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> just I love shinies. There, huh? Yeah, like I love the shinies, but yeah, like we're more powerful because the monsters are all like even more fearsome now. Yeah. Gonna have to use my hyper armor here. Oh, yeah, glad I did that. Yeah, I'm really uh, hoping to land a counter over here, but it is one of those counters where you kind of have to plan for it, right? It's yeah. Not, uh, you can just do it wind up. Oh. I'm glad my food skills are kicking in to reduce this damage, or I'd be in a world of pain. And my Palico has put some healing down. Oh, I'm going to need them. <laughs> I need those bubbles. Oh, ouch. See, I've got Evade Extended 2 on my mix set as well, and uh, it's helping, but I'm still getting caught by that wide yeah. reach. Right, can oh, I get... the way those, oh. those attacks, like, kind of curve around you. Yeah. <laughs> kind of unpredictable. Come on, Gore, I've got a present for you. That's it. Come on, Magnificent Trio. Oh. Try again. Here we go. We're going to get the boom. Oh, no, we've got the Wyvern Ride. What do oh. we want to do? Um... Should we go to the swamp? See if we get the Fawny Toads with us. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's go find the most awesome of Endemic Life. Where There they are. They've jumped in. I, they're, they're lurking. They're lurking, waiting for us. We promised Fawny Toads that we, we have did. to deliver, right? We need to give the Fawny Toad fans out there something to enjoy. Right. 
Let us summon the Thorny Toads. And hopefully they'll see an opportunity to uh, to jump in now. Oh. Big damage there. That was lovely. Is that a zero sum discharge I see as well? Here's a Thorny Toad. <gasps> I can see them latching onto Gormagala. They're on his back. Get him. Get him. Wait, we need yes. to hit them to support them. Yes, that damage is noticeable as well. I heard them pop. <laughs> <laughs> but don't worry, no Thorny Toads were harmed in the making of this, this stream. Oh, no, absolutely not. The uh -oh. most, uh, most dangerous monster. There they are. They're still going. They're not afraid of a fully frenzied Gormagala. I am. They're not. <laughs> It's completely unbothered. And um, for those wondering as well, so on my screen, you can see the um, silk binder switch skill information. You can turn that off in the UI. So once you're used to your build, where you know it like the back of your hand off by heart, you can turn that off. But I've kept it on because it's a really useful prompt for me uh, while I kind of settle into how I've got my switch skill set up. But you can absolutely turn that off if you want. And I, I've had that turned on um, pretty much all the time. I've been playing Sunbreak. It's, it's pretty helpful for me, Same. but uh, I think I'm getting to the point where I might be able to turn it off, but, you know, it's good to have the choice, right? Exactly. Oh, we're doing well. Gormagala's starting to feel it. But yeah, I, so for those wondering as well, I have, I've eaten incredibly comfy. I've eaten Dango Defender. I've got Dango Medic, and I've got a brand new Dango skill, which I won't spoil, which also helps with damage mitigation. So that's why some of Gormagala's hits do big damage to me. And, you know, when it falls correctly, I get a little bit of damage resistance. Um, but there's even more Dango options for you as well, um, as well as the hopping skills, which you might have seen on our social media, which empowers some Dango at the cost of others. So choose carefully. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking the... Uh... The hopping skewers it's a pretty cool new feature um i've I been using it. it every now and then but it, you know it really depends on whichever hunt that you're i've been for. using it on every hunt i'm like yes nice. please i love it like i normally have like dango medic as my third one because you still get a little boost but you know so you will get a benefit and then i kind of focus the the boosts on like like hunt specific food um oh how do we want to make up uh gormagala here should i can i finally use my egg is this the way? I think it's time. So yeah, you can either pay three songs or do the Magnificent Trio to instantly pop the egg. And we should get some big damage here. And then I'm going to step back and I'm going to play... Uh... And as you can see, pop! Oh, wait, wait. 14! There go. 77! I'm glad I've been wow. stacking some damage on my set. <laughs> Get that that's, attack that's up. Wakey, wakey. Oof. Oh, wow. Oh, that. Are, yeah, that are I got humbled there. <laughs> Gormagala is down, but definitely not out. Gonna get a slide beat in here. Oh, the evade. Wow. Um, remember, I'm gonna hit that counter. <laughs> kind of <laughs> bummed about that. Oh. I need to go on the aggression here, otherwise Frenzy's gonna catch me. I might need another oh, yeah. three. Mine's is almost filled too. Yeah, I've got like a millimeter. Oh. Wow. Those attacks. Yeah, watch out. Whoa. Dango Defender there, coming in clutch. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, Whoa. I finally hit you it. You got the counter, I heard it. Yeah. I didn't, I got Very absolutely, satisfying. I got slapped in the chin. Well played. Got him. What a hunt, we're like. Yeah. Wow. Gormagala does not mess around. Like, it's so good to have Gormagala back. And this is just like one hunt on one new monster in master rank like and yeah. we we spirit birded up we ate comfy like there's so much so much to do and obviously i'm gonna yeah 
give you a life. Yeah, it's incredible, honestly. I mean, this is definitely, you know, it's a big new monster, but it's just one of many really awesome new monsters in Sunbreak. Um, and it's just so cool to have, you know, this expansion that's just so full of these these new monsters. It's, it's really exciting. Exactly. And, you know, Monster Thunder Rise Sunbreak is out now. Like, you can jump right in and and enjoy the game. And if you're new, if you are new to Monster Hunter Rise and you've picked up the game in preparation for Sunbreak, go and talk to Senri, the mailman. Um, he's the little palico you'll find in Kimura Village near Eldafugan. Get the black belt gear um, for the armor and get the defender weapons and you'll be able to go through low and high rank at uh, quite a pace. You're aiming to do the seven star quest Thunder, uh, Goddess of Thunder. Um, and then you can jump into Sunbreak as well and enjoy all these new features and hunts. But yeah, there's so much, so much in Sunbreak. And, you know, I hope you join us. How, uh, what about you, Joe? Yeah, I mean, you covered it. Um, you know, this this is an amazing expansion. I'm super excited for people to get their hands on it. So many new monsters. And yeah, like you mentioned, if you are new to Rise, uh, definitely a lot of options to kind of get through the main game. Um, it's, it's a really good time. So. Um, Please enjoy it. Yeah, and I think with that, the, a successful hunt. And by the way, you look awesome on my end screen. I can see you doing a zero sum discharge in the background. Um, oh, nice. I... So the you, the community, can go and enjoy Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. So jump in, let us know your thoughts over on Twitter and on the Steam forums, and we hope you have an absolutely amazing time with Sunbreak. So I've been Jono. And I'm Joe. We'll see you around. Happy hunting. Right. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak PC launch stream. It is awesome to see you. Sunbreak is live and out now. The wait is over. My name's Jono, EMEA Community Manager for Monster Hunter, and I am joined by... Hey, everyone. I'm Joe. I'm the Capcom USA Community Manager for Monster Hunter. And today, to celebrate the launch of Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak, what are we hunting, Joe? We are going after Gormagala. Oh, um, yes. if you watched our recent um, our recent Capcom showcase, this was the one of the big new reveals uh, in the trailer. So just super excited to, to get into this hunt. Awesome, absolutely. Cool. And um, as you can see, we're decked. We've got a lot of Lunar Garon gear going on. You're wearing the full Lunar Garon set. You've got the Lunar Garon switch axe, and I'm using the Lunar Garon hunting horn. Now I am running a mixed set for Master Rank, so I am currently using high rank layered armor. Um, and, you know, I, I still think I've got the fashion game on there. I've still got the fashion game, but you are looking a lot cooler. Oh, you're looking pretty cool, too. But, I mean, look at my uh, my Palamute over oh. here. He's, he's looking very clean. So. Now, what monster did you get that outfit from? Uh, that is the Espinos uh, Palamute armor. You can see, I don't know if you can see it on your stream, Jono, but uh, my amazing sunglasses over here. They are they are too cool. Too cool for me, anyway. <laughs> But right, shall we get stuck? And we are in the Citadel, um, the, one of the brand new locales in Sunbreak, and it is awesome. There's so much to this locale, and as you can see, we've got a few monsters uh, in the area, including Gormagala. And look at this scenery here, like yeah. the woodland, the snow, and obviously the Citadel itself. Like, yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. And I'm going to play my hunting horn. Like, how cool does that sound? Like, got the... <laughs> The kind of heavy metal there now you're gonna be a bit faster than me um because <laughs> you've got your palamute yeah i am i'm definitely a palamute person um but yeah you know going back to the citadel i think this is definitely one of my favorite um locales not just in monster Hunter rise but i think in the series i mean it's just wow. got so much variety it's really cool it really does really and does. obviously it also has the um the thorny toad as well which is super oh, yeah. super cool um, yes, we uh, we definitely stand Thorny Toad, um, one of the best endemic life. Hopefully, we'll end up in the swamp. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of the marionette spider, which uh, I'm definitely gonna try and grab one. Ooh, let's go here. find it. And um, you can use the uh, the new uh, sniff them out feature to kind of help you find endemic life which is i think it's really helpful for me i mean you know playing base rise i kind of memorized where a lot of uh the endemic life is but you know being new to sunbreak it's super helpful to just kind of find those things and have them marked on the map 
Yeah, I mean, I'm glad you mentioned that. There's a lot of new features for hunting buddies. There's also some great quality of life stuff. Like some people might have seen us being able to wall run without using a wire bug to do so, um, which I absolutely love. Like it makes combat flow so smoothly. Um, yeah, it's, it's brilliant. Yeah, it's super, super helpful. Um, it just makes movement even more smooth. I mean, it was already super smooth in yes. regular uh, Monster Hunter Rise, but yeah, even now it's just a, a little, yeah. little bit faster. Right, I don't know about you, but I've got a nice bit of Spirit Bird and Endemic Life. Should we go find the mighty, frenzy-inducing Gormagala? Do it, and I got my marionette spider, so... Uh, Perfect. The bonkin shall that. begin. Um, and obviously yes. those watching as well, you can see on my Lunagaran hunting horn, I've got self-improvement, I've got element